First step is to sign up for a ClickFunnels account. There's plenty of free trials out there, and that's what I just signed up for. And then the next step to starting your first funnel, first off, when you, when you first come in, there's going to be a lot of really cool training and onboarding stuff to help you get more familiar with the platform. Russell Brunson is amazing at, well, definitely marketing and funnels and, and pretty much everything he does, it seems, uh, but definitely at training and support. So there's lots of ways to familiarize yourself with the platform, but let's just get going. Let's click add new. You can also go to funnels, browse, browse funnels, add new. And now there's all these choices for different types of funnels that you might build for your business, which is really cool. There's such an amazing selection. There's a little description of each type of funnel. Um, that are going to have different applications in different businesses. And here's even a breakdown of industry based on what kind of industry you're in, uh, the purpose of the funnel, either sell a product, get leads, create an event. Let's go to generate leads. And then my goal, I want their contact info. This is so cool. Um, squeeze page, that's just a basic page where you're going to be asking for people's info in exchange for something that you provide. Application, obviously that's for an application, reverse squeeze page, I don't know, or lead magnet. Okay, so I'd probably go with lead magnet or squeeze page to start off. I'm gonna actually choose squeeze page. That's basically like a basic landing page that offers some sort of value and asks for someone's email in return. It's the usually the most basic funnel to set up in the in the one where everyone starts. And here's Russell explaining to you how a squeeze page funnel works in really nice, easy to understand terms. And then there's a whole bunch of different options for the template. It's so super easy. I'm going to click on free so I can get a free template. And I'm going to click on this one, this Jason squeeze page funnel. Cool, and then I'm gonna click Get Funnel. Jason, Jason Theme. My name is Theme, Jason Theme. Doesn't he look Bond-esque? I think so. Okay, well, my internet's taking a little bit of time. It's slowing me down. I wanna make this as fast as possible for you. Maybe I'm going to pause this until it's all loaded up. Okay, now we're on the next page. This is your funnel outlined here. This is a very simple funnel, so it's only got two steps. The squeeze page and the thank you page. So they're going to fill out the opt-in. They're going to give you their email on this page, and then they're going to land on this page when they're done. There's a few things we need to set up to get that working. So first, let's go to edit page. And I'm going to pause it so you don't have to sit through my internet loading. All right, now we're in the builder. Um, this is all covered in ClickFunnels tutorials. You can check that out. but this platform is so easy to use. You just literally, you know, drag and drop things wherever you want. You don't have to know anything about coding. Um, uh, I want Jason back here where he belongs. Okay. So you just drag and drop things around. Again, check out the training in ClickFunnels to learn more about how to use this. So we're going to customize this with things that are applicable to the squeeze page that I want to set up. I'm going to just change as little as possible here, running a profitable, I'm going to say setting up and running a profitable, not on my business, but AdWords account. And then I'm going to go, instead of unlimited wealth, on AdWords, and then I'm going to say, even if you're a total beginner. Cool. And then I'm going to go with, uh, not the internet moneymaker, but the Nomad Brad. Sure. All right. Uh, attention for those who are serious about developing your online business to the next level. I'm going to say growing your online business to the next level. And then I'm going to change this down here to my website. Digital Nomad Rockstar. 
Cool. So when this, when somebody clicks on this, first I'm going to click save. This stuff is so simple. And then I'm going to, oh yeah, so this is, when you click on something, all these options come up. Again, this is in the training for ClickFunnels, but these are all the options. You can, you can have different things happen when someone clicks on this. You can have them go to a different URL, or you can have them go to the next step in the funnel, or submit the form page. We're going to go with submit, because that's going to automatically go through the ClickFunnels um, integrations, which I'll show you in a second. So to get this to collect someone's email and then send them to the thank you page, you're going to have to integrate your email service provider with, with ClickFunnels. Um, I have MailChimp set up here. There are different integrations for different email service providers, but I'll show you the MailChimp process real quick. This is, this is going to vary, and ClickFunnels has great documentation about how to do this for different providers. But for, uh, for MailChimp, you're going to go to your account here. You're going to go up here and then click on account. And then in here, you're going to go to extras and API keys. And you can either create a new one or you can use the one that they have. And grab that, copy it. And you will go to the main ClickFunnels page. All right, and then to integrate, you're going to go to account and then integrations. And you see, I already have one set up here, but you're going to go to add new integration and then name it what you want to name it. Select integration type. This is where you're going to pick your email service provider. Go with MailChimp and then um, it will ask you for your API key and you will just paste that API key in right here. So this is, it'll look just like this. MailChimp. It'll pop up, paste that API key that I just copied, and then it will be all connected to MailChimp. So then we're going to go to integrations on the page, select your integration, and then you're going to probably want to add this person to a list or a segment of your list. And then I'm just going to pick this, and then it says, boom, connected. OK, cool. So now if somebody clicks on this button, it's going to pop up a thing. Oh no, it's going to submit the page. Okay, yeah, it's going to, oh, that's right. So we actually don't want this to submit the page. We want to open the pop-up. There's a pop-up on here that's already been designed by ClickFunnels to look amazing. This is what the, the pop-up looks like. So we're going to change this profitable AdWords account, even if you're a total beginner. And then all this is good. And then this button is going to submit the page, and then it's going to take them to the next uh, the next page, the thank you page. And Cool. We're going to save it. And then this is all good. I'll obviously have to change that picture. I'll pause it while I find my picture. Cool. I just uploaded this photo. Going to drop it in there. And uh, yep, that's pretty cool. This is the pop up that's going to pop up. We're going to save that. And then you can just close this. And I'm going to go, hmm, I wonder what size this picture is. I don't really, I want to put a picture of what they're going to get. So I'm going to design one of those real quick. I will show you the process. I'm probably going to use a tool called Canva, which is free. I'm just going to pause it because my internet's super slow. All right, now I'm inside Canva. You can sign up for an account, canva.com. And I'm probably just going to pick something vertically. Maybe it doesn't have to be that big. Mm, maybe this. This is going to create a custom design. Canva is like super easy to make things look really nice. And I'll probably just go something super basic. These all look like. Let's go with this one. 
Okay, it gives you all these the Google AdWords Bootcamp for beginners. And I don't need, what's this, the background? Yeah, I don't need a background for now. Delete image, delete element. Canva is so easy to use, I love it. Just gonna go with that. Yeah. The Nomad Bread. Nah, that's silly. Digital Nomad stuff. And I don't think I need that. It's not about me. Who cares? Delete the group. Google AdWords Bootcamp for beginners. And maybe I'll add. Nope. Maybe I'll add a element shape. Um, so adding lots of time, but still relatively very easy. Um, hmm, I think that's pretty good. Let's see, what would I add maybe? I'm gonna pause while I think. All right, so I just added my logo, my first logo here. Again, it's not about me, I just want people to know, uh, yeah, who's, who's making this thing. And I just wanna make the beginners, for beginners part a little bigger, because that's really important to this particular offer. And I also added the super power word ultimate because the ultimate warrior was one of my favorite wrestlers as a kid. That's why. All right. And then I'm going to save this to my computer and upload it to ClickFunnels. All right. Now we're back in the ClickFunnels editor. Um, obviously you can put whatever you want here, but I just thought I would do this uh, logo for the product for the course and I want to make this a little bit smaller so I'm going to start messing with the 400 maybe the height 400 yeah, that's pretty cool that's getting better 600 now it's still big 500 perfect cool um, skipping over some more boring uploading stuff okay the ultimate Google AdWords bootcamp Ba, 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 ba. All right, this is good enough for now. So we're gonna click save, and you can click preview, see what that's gonna look like. Cool, this is what people are gonna see when they land on your landing page. They're gonna click yes, please teach me now. They're gonna put in their email. Um, and click sign me up. You can test if it actually works with your um, email service provider. And then as you can see, it lands on the thank you page. So next, we're just going to go ahead and change that thank you page. Customize that. Cool. You are now subscribed. There's some lorem ipsum, blah blah blahs. Obviously, you're going to want to... <laughs> this is funny. Obviously, you're going to want to customize this for what you want. Oh, wait. Yeah. And I might change this up a bit too, but for now, we're just going to easy, easy button it. I'll change this later, but you can see how easy it is to just move things around, change them, etc. This, you can have it do whatever you want. This button here, you could have people go to your support, you could have people download a, a product, you could have them create a membership, sign in, whatever you want. But for now, um, this is pretty much good to go, and I'll probably you know, I'll customize this for the purposes of what I'm using it for. But for now, 
this is your first official marketing funnel. There it is. So saved it. And again, there's, there's lots of things you can do to tweak it here. Um, they give you, when you sign up for ClickFunnels, you get a subdomain basically on, you know, whatever your subdomain is, dot .clickfunnels.com. So you actually have a functioning website just by signing up for ClickFunnels. And you could just use that. You could, you could rock that if you want, or you can set up a little more advanced. Maybe I'll make some videos. If you leave a comment wanting to know more about stuff to do in ClickFunnels, then let me know. But you can change the, you can have a custom domain if you, have, if you already have your own domain. But for now, you have a functioning funnel. Actually, we're going to go to the top of the funnel and go to visit funnel URL. And here we are. Here's your landing page, website, and people can sign up and you can start building a list today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have more questions, comments, etc., feel free to share them in the comments below. If you liked this video and want to get more cool tips on how to start, grow, your businesses using online marketing, then please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And yeah, just give me your feedback. Thanks for watching.